I'll bump into someone I know. Maybe. That ass, though. Sorry. <laughs> what? I have to say that every time I see Kaito. Hey, Internet. It's Jessica, and welcome back to Lost Judgment. Today, we're going to be starting the DLC for Kaito called The Kaito Files. And I'm super excited about this because, you know, he's my favorite character in the Judgment series, so I'm really happy that Kaito is getting the limelight in his own DLC. What I know about this DLC is that this does take place after Lost Judgment, and it's also about 10 hours, so that we get a good chunk of uh, Kaito content. If you guys haven't caught up with my Judgment Let's Play for the first game and Lost Judgment, I'll leave a link in the description to the playlist so you can go ahead and watch it before watching this. Also, if you guys would like to support the channel on Patreon, that is patreon.com slash a girl at a game. That's where you can get early access to the Kaito files and other things that I do not post in the public. Please check the link in the description or go to patreon.com slash a girl in a game. All right, we got it, the Kaito files. So as you guys know, I did play Judgment in English and then I played Lost Judgment in Japanese because I was curious about the Japanese voice acting. For this DLC, I'm actually gonna go back to the English voice acting because I actually do like Crispin Freeman as Kaito. I think I think his uh, voice acting was really good for him and I kind of just missed the English cast. So for this Let's Play, we're gonna take a look at it in English and uh, yeah, I'm just excited to hear everybody again because it's been years since I heard the the English version. <laughs> We're gonna play on normal. I am a bit rusty on RGG games because I haven't played in a while, but hopefully I will survive this. Oh, we're back again. Please tell me Kaito does not get stabbed in this DLC because I swear this man is either getting shot or stabbed or something. Oh, Hoshino! <laughs> what? Whoa! <laughs> Why is Hoshino wearing glasses? <laughs> He looks kind of badass, not gonna lie. He kind of looks badass. Look at this guy. <laughs> Hope coming down here to meet me wasn't too inconvenient for you, Hoshino-san. I'm Senda from Bato Detective Agency. Oh. There's another agency competing with Yagami? Uh, so, you were kind of vague on the phone. What were you trying to get at? You really don't know what this is about? Rocking those shades at this time of night is telling me a different story, son. <laughs> Mark of a guilty conscience. Oh, man. I assure you that's not the case. Anyway, what did you want to discuss? It's what I was telling you over the phone. We got a request from Saori Shirasaki to look into you, but... I figured I'd do you a solid Wait, and let you see what I found before I reported back to my client. Yeah, but what's this? What? Why is Sarah looking your into girl? Him? We snapped a quick pic when she came to the office. I'm so confused. No way. Why would Sauri, son? The way I hear it, you two are getting engaged soon, so you can finally tie the knot. What? Sometimes <laughs> women get cold feet, you know. They're engaged now? D uh, damn, how much of a jump is this from the Lost Judgment game? Because they were kind of- Were they- They were dating. Yeah, they were dating. I want to know what they're getting into. I see it all the time. You're... Okay, then. So, what did you find, sir? I haven't done anything that would incriminate me. Maybe you're wearing those glasses and inside, This dude. is a violation <laughs> of detective client privilege. You're breaking the rules. Oh, no, that's a pretty good one. As I'd expect from a lawyer. But Hoshino, you really think you can bluff your way out of this shot? <sighs> what did you do? Oh, well, well, well. I do believe that's you strolling out of a Kamurocho love hotel, Slugger. Uh, One last fling before the Yo, Sauri's gonna kill him! <laughs> Hope you made it worth your time. What the... This is... You've got it all wrong! It's whoa, probably whoa, whoa, just, like, not what it, it easy, looks like, yeah. but... Come on, this dude's obviously gonna make it bad for Sauri. You don't have to play by courtroom rules here. It's simple. I can make this whole thing disappear. Oh my god, you. are you blackmailing him? The only reason lawyers don't go to hell is because they can afford not to. In other words, you're saying I have to pay you now to delete that picture? Nothing I love more than a fast learner, kid. Four million yen. This goes up in smoke. Four million? Anything to the contrary. Four million yen? I don't have that kind of money! Your whole damn future is riding on this deal I'm making you. It's a small price to pay, isn't it? Yeah, but... Hey, Hoshino. 
Would you prefer that I send this to your office with a nice little bow? What an ass. Is this Kaito? <laughs> so, you take the client's money up front. And you What's shoot you down the for another four million on top. Man, you corrupt detectives really rake it in, don't you? What the fuck? You were, you were in the Matsugami. <laughs> Tell me this guy did not pull a Superman. Lieutenant in the Bato family. Oh my right god. Now you're on my turf. That's funny, Kaito. <laughs> he looks good in this Kaito's sweater. Not, just saying. That was my acting. Not bad if I say so myself. Oh, it was all a setup. Acting. One of your old clients came to us to help her get her money back. As it turns out, your little extortion racket has been getting around. And that's why Hoshino kun and Saori saw. Okay, I knew it wasn't anything bad. Need. That's good. That's, that's good. Because I'm like. Bag your ass with it. I know I make fun of Hoshino kun like a lot, Hoshino but he's really cute yep. with Saori. I got the whole thing on tape. Hey. All right. That'll be 4 million yen you took from your client, plus 300,000 for annoying me. You need to hit an ATM? Do we need to throw you to an ATM? Okay! Get back here! Alright, Kaito, it's your turn to run. Yagi ain't here. <laughs> oh god. Alright, here we go. Hey, hold up! Alright, alright. About the chase. Okay, yeah, I I, just, I remember how to do this. It may have been a where'd he go? No! Get your ass on the ground, you dick! You ain't getting Ooh, excuse me! I don't think Kaito can do parkour like Yagami can, can he? <laughs> I don't think so. Excuse me! Kaito, how big Kaito is. Like, if you really look at him next to everybody else. Oh my god, hurry up, bro! <laughs> he doesn't even jump it. He just, he just runs through it. I love it. That's such a Kaito thing to do. <laughs> Like a lot of stamina. Damn, he's getting faster. You're really throwing a bike at me, sir. Tackle him! <laughs> he didn't even tackle him. He just dropped him. <laughs> yeah, that seems like a Kaito thing to do. <laughs> oh my god, that is so funny. That's actually hilarious. Good. Still in one piece. <laughs> Shit. Now then, send us on. Your office is in Kamurocho, right? How about you give me a little inside tour? <laughs> I love it. The difference of Yagami and Kaido is like night and day. <laughs> Sender, the hell's this about? Oh, boss, I, I kind of screwed up. Hi, what's up? <laughs> I know you. You're with the Matsugane family. The name's Kaito, and I'm with the Yagami Detective Agency now. <laughs> you call this dump an office? <laughs> It's got the scent of illicit yakuza business. It all does. Over it. it does. Are you trying to scare your clients? Oh God! There's even bullet holes. I take it you're not one of those clients. What do you want? You the head honcho around here? Igarashi's the name. I'm the Bato Detective Agency's chief consultant. Sir, you don't look like a consultant to me. Just saying. <laughs> I mean the Bato family, right? Didn't you guys used to call yourselves the Tojo Clan R&D? 
You dig up dirt on cops and their families. Oh. All to twist the long arm of the law. Seems going legit hasn't taught you a damn thing. And it's making us real detectives look bad. That shit won't fly around me. Hate to burst your bubble, but we got a customer satisfaction rate of over 80%. So kindly take your bitching and blow it out your ass. Then why don't I cut to the chase? I'm here for the million yen you grifted out of my client. Plus, 300 grand for the trouble. Make it snappy, and I'll leave a souvenir. You're screwed more than sideways if the cops hear it. Send a you clusterfuck. <sighs> Real sorry. <laughs> well, I suppose I should give you credit for leading a competitor right to us. Oh, this is um, Kaito's cue to fight everybody. Well, you know, I kind of saw this coming. How come that guy has a stick already? Down. But fair warning, I'm tacking on extra for the ass whooping. <laughs> All right, cut the yapping. Shut this idiot up permanently. Sir, I think that is murder. That is illegal. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is this is the new fighting style, Bruiser, which is specifically for Kaito. Bruiser is a balanced battle st style with focused hand-to-hand -hand combat. Kaito can unleash res a resolute counter after taking a hit and can learn a skill to repel attacks, leaving enemies exposed. Excellent evasion attacks and changing multiple quick steps together. Okay, let's see if I remember how to fucking fight in this game. Oh. Like our total comes out to one and a half million. Pretty lean for a business that was about to go under. You'll get yours someday, Kaito. Mm. Mark my words. <laughs> That's what they all say. Uh, please don't tell me this is foreshadowing for this man to actually get injured. <laughs> oh. I can't believe you got my money back from those crooks. How can I ever thank you? No need. I was just taking out the town garbage. <laughs> Your husband wasn't even cheating on you, was he? No. But they still threatened to tell him I booked an investigation. Believe me, you're not alone here. <laughs> There's been a recent uptick of con artists operating as detectives. Yeah. See, can you imagine normally, if that was real? Sauri would actually kill Hoshino. Before they can open a detective business. So they'll often skirt the law by setting up a civilian to be the agency's owner. I see. Actually, I did find it strange how much cheaper they were than other agencies. Well, with the Yagami Detective Agency, we don't charge a yen until you see results. We're a name you can trust. I love, I love that Kaito's like a hype man. So, it's <laughs> time you need to keep tabs on your man. Don't hesitate to swing on by. <laughs> I think I'll be fine for now. I've chosen to trust my husband. But thank you.
All right, nice job, kid. By the way, Hoshinoku, how are things really going with Salary Saw? Well, as far as I'm concerned, I'm in it for the long haul. But sometimes I can't help but wonder if we're actually even together. That's what I'm confused about. Why, yeah, when they said they got engaged? What, three years? Never thought about getting hitched. Of course, at least I, I have. As for whether Saori san would be receptive to the idea. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. Doubton's only gonna drive her away. Show her you're a man with a plan. Yeah. Maybe you're right. I'll make it happen this year. And I'll be rooting for you, pal. Uh, great. Uh, on that note, I'd better get going. I still have some work left at the office. Okay, bye! <sighs> Wait, where is Yagami at? Well, looky here. Oh, there he is! Let's talk. Sorry, Kaito-san. This job for Ken Genda Sensei is looking like it's gonna take another couple of days. Can you keep an eye on the place till I get back? Okay, he's he's out for the while. That divorce meditation giving you trouble? Or mediation, sorry. <laughs> yeah, the husband wasn't having it. On top of that, he took their son with them off into the mountains and got lost. I was in the search party, and would you believe a freaking bear shows up? Damn, sounds like a mess. Did you find the guy? Every time I think about a bear in the RGG universe, all I can think about is Saijima fighting a bear <laughs> in Yakuza 5. <laughs> yeah, but the moment we did, he ran off with his son again. We're gonna try again tomorrow. Gotcha. Well, good luck. Guess I'm on my own for now. Well, I got, I ain't got nothing going on. Maybe I'll see if anyone wants to grab a drink. Let's see. Who do I want to call? Can I just call Higashi, Sugiyura, and Skumo? Hoshinokun. <laughs> I'm calling Higashi because Higashi worships Kaito so much, and I also like Higashi. <laughs> Hell yeah, Higashi would be over in a flash. Or not? What's the good word? Ah, oh, there he is! <laughs> Just thought you might want to go have a drink. Right now? Yeah, thing is, I kind of have a dinner meeting tonight. Oh. A dinner meeting? <laughs> Sounds pretty fancy for an arcade manager. Yeah, you're telling me. See, the thing is, we're opening up a new location in Eugene Show. Oh! Managed to hit it off with a guy who rents us our equipment. Turns out he's a CEO looking to invest. Nice! Hey, look at you moving up in the world. I'm so proud of Higashi! Yeah, well, to be honest, I'd rather knock one back with my Anaki. <laughs> of course nah, you would. you do your thing. Some other time, okay? Sounds good, Anaki. Oh, almost forgot. I heard this from one of the part-timers at Charles, but apparently some kid came looking for you. Oh? Some kid? I guess. I wasn't the one who saw him. But evidently this punk had some fight in him. Our guys chased him out before he could start any shit. What the hell's a kid like that want with me? You tell me, man. But not right now. I, I gotta prep for that. <laughs> Don't tell me now, I gotta go. <laughs> Guess he got she's pretty slam, but hey, if business is booming, then I'm happy for him. All right, let's call Sigiura and Skomo, but they're not in uh, Komorocho anymore. They have their own agency now. Greetings. You've reached Yokohama 99. Oh. Yo, it's Kaito. Wanna go get drinks? You, me, and Sugiura? Ah, uh, I'm afraid Sugiura, she's not available. Right now, he's out looking into an affair. Oh. Huh. He's busy. Okay, <laughs> what about you? It's been a while, you know? Uh, well, I do appreciate the invite. Tonight's not good for me either. Nobody's available it's to not? hang out with him. How come? Because tonight is reserved for anime. A very special one. It's of the course it's of anime. Love Star 3, the movie, Director's Cut Edition. <laughs> I can hardly contain myself. <laughs> oh, come on, an anime? Can't you just record the damn thing? 
I don't think you get it, Kaito-san. A premiere only happens once and It is history. true, people go crazy during you have to premieres. Watch the stream while it's live and keep the chat turned on. That's the experience. Huh? You gotta do what now? <laughs> oh, I know. Kaito-san, if you like, I can add you to our Love Star community. <laughs> That way we can voice chat online while you have your drink at home. Oh my it's a god. Win -win. I'm sure my friends would love to welcome you. He's probably gonna be yeah, like, no. <laughs> so, I don't know. This sounds like a lot to me. I think I'm gonna sit this one out. Gosh, I was just about to give you a breakdown on Love Star's TV. I would I would hang up too, honestly. Oh, well. Skuma love you, but oh, sometimes about to go live. Much. Uh, till next time. <laughs> Love Star, huh? Maybe I'll check it out sometime. <laughs> All right, I guess Hoshina's the only one we can call, but I feel like he'd be busy with Saori or something. No answer? Kaito-san? Oh. Is everything okay? Yeah, just thought we could grab a drink. Oh, well, uh, like I said before, I still have work to do. Hell. Not done yet? <laughs> Not even close. Plus, sorry, son needs my help after this, so. Yeah, I get it. Poor Kaito, he's, he's got away. nobody to hang out with. Something like that. Anyway, let's try some other time. No luck with him either. Go out first drink for solo. I guess we're just drinking alone. Guess everyone's busy. Well, I could always show my face at tender. Maybe I'll bump into someone I know. Maybe. That ass though, sorry. <laughs> what? I have to say that every time I see Kaito. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Um, I should probably just like level up something. I, I don't really know. Let's go with this. Unlock. Ooh. Repel? Yeah, let me get, let me get that too. Let me get some repel out here, and then I guess all the yeah Kaito doesn't have like a lot of things. Obviously, it's not like like uh, Yagami, but you know I'm gonna sa I'm gonna save these for now because I don't really know what else we're gonna need. All right, I guess we're gonna go to Tender, and that's kind of it. Let's head over there. Huh? What's that smell? Primal focus. Like a feral beast, Kaito senses sight, smell, and hearing superior to both above the average person. What is he, an X-Men? <laughs> Sharpen your senses with primal eye, primal nose, and primal ear to identify anything suspicious in the area. You can also use primal focus while walking around without uh, being in an active search. That's very random. Okay, smell. Okay, so we gotta do smell, right? This is very random. This? This right here. That smell, there's something around here. Matsugani family crest? Oh, whoa, okay. Hey, SP, I'll take it. All right, that's very random, but sure. <laughs> I'll take that. Excuse you. All right, Kamurocho, it's been a really long time, but it's nice to see you. Oh, what's happening over here? Cops? The cops? What's going on? Oh my gosh, was someone murdered? Dunno. Could have been a Yakuza, maybe. But I thought the Tojo clan was long gone. Doesn't mean the Yakuza is. A murder? God damn, I really needed that drink. Who the F is that? That seemed, it seems like a lady. Is that, is that just me? It doesn't seem like a man. Probably a lady. I'm just gonna take a wild guess. Wait, can I not see who that was? No, right? They're gone. Alright. The hell is that? <laughs> Are you telling me Kaido's just gonna be randomly sniffing around when he, he senses something? Yeah, I think so. Uh -huh. That is so random. Anyway. <laughs> Let's go get the drink. I don't think we can really do anything yet. With the with the supposed murder. Oh, hey! Son, come join us. You by yourself? Yeah. Talks out of town helping Genda Sensei. Says he'll be gone another couple days. Aha. Uh -huh. So is the sidekick getting lonely without the leading man? <laughs> In your dreams, Mari. Masuda, the usual. 
Hey, at least we know two people in here. <laughs> you see any shit going down outside? I overheard someone talking about a murder. Ah, that. Apparently, the victim was a young executive. Actually, there was a similar case a few days ago. It caused quite a stir. I believe the man was a CEO. Some killers out to eat the CEO. rich. CEO? What didn't Higashi said that he just crazy world out there. You know, what was uh, connected which, to a CEO? Uh -oh. oh, I kicked the crap out of those swindlers. And Hoshino-kun put on quite the show. He was he was pretty convincing. Really? I am impressed with him. I wish I could have seen the pros at work. No one else? I think Hoshino-kun and Saori-san are just about there. Fellow was all riled up, saying this'll be the year. By that, you mean they're tying the knot? Yeah. The question is, will Saori-san give him a yes? <laughs> Why is Kaido so dramatic? <laughs> <laughs> I'd say she needs more time. If he rushes it, it might not turn out well. Yeah, you can't you can't yeah, just do that. I suppose your gut's usually right, Mari. What about you, Kaito-san? Any romance blooming in your life? Are you single, Kaito? Whoa! Since when was this about me? <laughs> because you clearly have no trouble talking to women, but I never hear what happens in the end. What happens in the end? Is, um, is rejection. I was gonna say he probably just sleeps with him. That's it. <laughs> well, maybe I like being a free agent. You call it rejection. I call it release. And even if I do keep getting shot down, oh, so what? <laughs> every do. beauty who walks away is only making room for the next one. Oh, Whatever Kaito makes son. you feel better, I guess. You're gonna grow into a lonely old man at this rate. Honestly, Mari, that's all talk. Once Kaido-san falls in love, he falls so hard he can't even see straight. Why, I recall a time he even considered getting married. You're kidding! When did he <gasps> consider that? A husband? Yo, could we not go there? Oh, shoot, I can't wait to get more backstory on Kaito. Time. This is kind of exciting. I suppose it's been over a decade now. You two were living together, right? Oh. I think her name... Masada, look... That's a long story. Some other time, okay? No, 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 no. We have time, everybody. We have time. We can oh. learn. Sure thing. By the way, you got any more gigs? We've been dry thanks to those fake detectives, so if you could hook it up. Actually, that reminds me. A man came by asking about you. He said he was looking for someone. He wanted me? Specifically? Isn't that what Higashi said too? I don't know the details, but he wants to meet you. He's the CEO of some tech company. Oh, a tech company, eh? What's the offer? He said he's prepared to pay two million up front. Two million? Well, well, that's mighty generous. Apparently it's for any investigation expenses that come up. And when it's done, He'll pay an extra 20 million. What? Uh, 20 million? Depending on the outcome, he might pay even more. <laughs> he must be swimming in cash. That or it's illegal. <laughs> Holy hell. Sounds like a tempting offer, but do you really want to do it alone? Especially with your boss out of town. True. <laughs> One look at you and the client might drop the case and run. Right? At least find a smart looking jacket to cover <laughs> whatever that is. I like his shirt, but he does Indeed. look like a Yakuza, it's true. You'll need to dress for the occasion, that's for sure. Man, you guys have no faith in me, huh? Oh, wait, is Mario gonna give him an, a makeover? A him or anyone else. True style. Doesn't oh, okay, never mind. For, forget what I just said. Not to mention, it's the heart that counts. Watch me knock this guy's socks off. Just being plain old Kaito. Are we at the arcade? Where are we? Oh. That is not Kaito. Who is that? Kaito's in a suit! No, we're at the agency! 
Lucy. He's about to expire. This man looks like a freaking uh, the way of the house husband. <laughs> hey, Bonaki, what's with the suit and tie? What? I thought I'd pull out all the stops. For He's so time. handsome. Dress for the occasion, all that. Wait, I have a question. Why is he got oh, you wearing an apron if he's making tea? Look the part too. I mean. <laughs> Yeah? You never give a rat's ass about that stuff. So I start now. Today's just special, all right? Oh, there. Okay. But do you really need me here? Don't you get it? If I'm busy talking this guy up, who's gonna offer some tea? The landlady? <laughs> Besides in the Matsugane family for Oh years. my god, <laughs> yeah, she's Love gonna be the tea me. guy! <laughs> Whoa, hang on. That was a long time ago. Well, I'm counting on you today. I'm paying you 50000 just to serve two people. Coming from you, that's pretty generous. <laughs> How much is this gig worth, anyway? Uh, that's a matter of, uh, detective client privilege. Here. Look alive! Look alive! He's here! Uh, come in! <laughs> kind of trying to be professional is really cute. Hi! Hello there. I'm Kyoya Saramoto, CEO of Image Interactive. Thanks for having me. He got a cute though! I was just saying! <laughs> Thanks for coming. I'm Masaharu Kaito, an investigator here. I'm Higashi, just a part-timer. It really is great to meet you, Kaito-san. I've heard so much about you. Good things, I hope? Of course. You're a legend in these parts, aren't you? I'm not so sure about that. Oh, but first, please, take a seat. Okay, okay, going good so far. Enjoy. Ah. <sighs> Why, thank you. Well then, uh, shall we get down to business? I understand you're looking for someone. Uh, may I ask who? That would be my wife. My deceased wife, actually. What? Your deceased wife. Pretty weird right off the bat. I'm gonna need more details. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, no, what else about the compensation later? <laughs> it's kind of... <laughs> You Bad timing. Some more details? I was under the impression she went missing. Well, I lost her about two years ago. She fake took suicide, her own life. probably. I see. I'm That's probably that sorry. person that we saw near the van near the murders. Let me rephrase that. I did say it looked like a you woman. You want us to find her, even though you know she passed away. Yes. Well. Why don't I start from the time she died? Yeah, let's start there. Okay, and there goes my controller again. I think my controller just died. Hang on, guys. I'm so sorry. The police. So sorry. <laughs> I'm finding nothing. She was declared a missing person. Six months later, they recovered a body. Possibly my wife's on a riverbed in the mountains of Chiba. There's a large waterfall nearby. Which she likely jumped. Her body was decomposed beyond recognition. That's why they couldn't tell. But authorities later identified her based on something she was carrying. And what was that? A photograph. In it was her and our son. Couldn't they check like dental records or something was like that? that? Really I don't enough know. to ID her? Right. Wouldn't they have done some sort of analysis? Yes. I requested a DNA test be performed. Lo and behold, my wife was a near perfect match. Then, at that point, her death was all but certain. Yet, you still believe she's alive? Not about a month ago, my wife's friend said she saw someone in Kamurocho that looked like her. This woman, according to my wife's friend, 
was with some unfamiliar man. And when the friend called out her name, she froze. Then she immediately fled. Hmm, that's kind of weird. Is it possible this was all just a coincidence? Even if it's a coincidence, she shouldn't have to Please. run. I considered that. The DNA test had more or less cemented her death in my mind. But then I started doing my own research. And I found that DNA test results aren't always set in stone. Especially in cases where the bodies. Yo, he got you. Why are you standing there? <laughs> the results can vary widely. <laughs> I even came across an astonishing article in which someone's lost relative showed up after a DNA test said they died. After reading that, who wouldn't have hoped that their dear wife is still somewhere out there? <sighs> Mind you, this woman was the spitting image of my wife. Her voice was a perfect match, too. And this is coming from a friend who's known her for years. As she herself put it, there's no way it wasn't her. I get why you want to believe that, but if a DNA test confirmed it... I mean, DNA tests can be faulty. Like, sometimes in the lab they could, like, do a mismatch. What I'm thinking of is, it's possible that whoever was conducting the DNA test could have been paid off. Like, that could have been a thing, right? And said, like, yeah, it's an exact match, even though they might not be. So, I wouldn't rule it out like Kaito was, like, thinking, like, oh, it's confirmed. Like, I, I feel like there's some, like, mishandling in the background. Probably just a damn close resemblance. Alright, compensation. If I could inquire about the compensation my contact at tender quoted two million in advance plus another 20 million upon completion yes regardless of the outcome i intend to have at least that much prepared. he's a ceo so it makes sense why he has that kind of money when you say at least that much you mean if you manage to find my wife safe and sound i'll throw in another 10 million Damn, 32 million? So, a grand total of 32 million? I will put that what that is in US yeah, dollars <laughs> on check. the screen. I'm being paid 50,000 today, right? <laughs> 50,000 for serving some damn tea. Got a problem? <laughs> oh no, it's fine. Now I see where all that generosity is coming from. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, ask for further information. Uh, by the way, May we request any photos of your wife you may have? <sighs> what? Sir? I've actually approached other detectives about this. But none of them could turn up any leads. Then I heard you were working as a detective. A Kamurocho, no less. Immediately, I thought to myself, if anyone can find my wife, it's him. Considering how well acquainted you are. What? Huh? What? You saying I know her? What does that mean? What? Oh, don't tell me it's his ex-girlfriend. Oh. Monarchy, isn't that... Oh, no Mikiko? wonder he wanted Kaito specifically. Yes. Mikiko Natsume was her maiden name. I understand you used to live together long ago. Oh, wow! And that sums up why I'm here. Because of how intimately you know her. Oh, wow, wow. This is kind of awkward, though, isn't it? You're really going to go. After what they did to the boss, I can't just sit back and do nothing. But you might actually get killed this time. I'm sorry. So your family is more important than me. Believe me, I understand how bizarre this request might be. But I know you can get to the bottom of it. Oh, I didn't expect that. This is actually good. I actually like this storyline. You Mikiko in this very town. You knew her better than anyone. Kaito-san, I'm begging you. Won't you bring her back? I'd heard rumors. But I never thought they'd be true. 
Sadamoto-san, are you sure Mikiko took her own life? I mean, she did leave a suicide note. Why, though? The Mikiko Ainu would never do that, no matter what the reason. Honestly, I wish I knew. The note was sparse on details. The hell does that mean? Aren't you supposed to be her husband? Well, Kaito, there's, there, there could be like, she could be living a double life. You don't know. For what my memory's worth, Mikiko seemed to have some anxieties about her job. And I was so busy with my own work at the time, I failed to give her support. I was hardly even home at the time. It was only when she left me that I realized how poorly I treated her. So, let's say Mikiko is alive. Then what? It's gonna be one big happy reunion? I don't really have an answer for that. I doubt she'd even want to look at me. But then again, we do have our son to consider. He's 14 already. His name's June. So, Mikiko's got a kid and everything. Oh, you can tell Kaito still has feelings yes. for her. And he's just as rambunctious as his mother. He took off once he heard she might be alive. Even though I specifically told him to stay put, the moment my back was turned, he was gone. Mm. Wait, he ran away? He did. About two weeks ago. I thought he might pull something like this, so I set up location tracking on his phone. But, being that he left his phone in his room, he must have figured that out. Outsmarted by a teenager, I swear. Two weeks on his own at his age? At 14, he's what, in middle school? June pulls this kind of stunt all the time. He hangs out with these delinquents, often couch surfing for days at a time. He's definitely acting out because of his of mom. Of course, I'm one to talk. Since most days, I missed the last train. And since I'm at a hotel, I won't even be home to notice he's gone. Well, how about that? Look, that's all beside the point. Right now, I need your help. Hate to break it to you, Sadamoto-san. But I don't think I'm your guy. What? I, I, I think I he can't do it because it's like personal I interest. Just don't think I'm cut out for it, is all. Come now. That's final. Fine. Fine. I know when a mind's made up. What a shame that is. Hanaki, you sure you want to let this guy go? That's 32 mil walking away. Not to mention the truth about Mikiko. I don't think he can handle it personally. Or he's not ready to I at least. I know what I'm doing. Okay, you're the boss. Damn. Oh my god, I'm actually really excited for this DLC because we're going to finally learn about his background. Another job down the shitter. I think that calls for a drink. You, uh, want somebody to tag along? Sure, but weren't you slammed with the new opening and all? Well, 
I mean, yeah, there's work to be done. I'd have to go inspect the place after. Right. Then you better go deal with that. Glad to hear business is good. Yeah, I'm proud. I'm proud of Higashi. Sorry about that, Anaki. Oh, and about that 50 grand I owe you. Don't even worry about it. T was on the house today, man. Aww. But my Anaki says poor. I served the best <laughs> damn cup you ever tried. That shit hasn't changed. Aww. <laughs> Gashi, you wonderful bastard. Huh? Hey, Anaki, that photo. Damn it. Don't just leave your junk in my office. Yikes. Oh, man. Oh, no, he's smoking too much. Kaito, no! <sighs> Should I just toss it? Well, wouldn't be the first gig I tossed. Better head on down to Tender and see what else mossada has got brewing. Chapter one, what goes around. I'm glad we got to the actual opening. <laughs> Okay, I just want to make some comments before we continue on. So, what what I understand so far, the rumors that have been going out in Kamarocho, there's a bunch, there's a CEO around, and that murder that happened next to Tender, did didn't Masuda just say that it was supposed to be a CEO? So like, is she causing CEO people to like get killed? Because, like, the only thing I could really think about is she's involved in something she's not supposed to be in, and why she would leave her family is to either protect them or to get away from them. Y you know what I mean? Because, like, if she got nervous when the friends saw her, then she probably fake the death to protect her son most likely. But I don't- I don't know, because it's- if she doesn't like the whole crime life, because she, what, what she saw, what we saw with Kaito in that flashback, I just think it, it was probably against her will. And considering what the husband said, she had some anxieties about her job. So this is going to be very interesting. I am curious to see what will happen. Oh, hello? Yanaki, hey, you got a minute? What? What's up, Higashi? Yeah, so... I just got a call from Charles. Remember how I told you about that kid who came by looking for you? Is it the son of yeah, um, what about him? Well, he's back and causing problems like usual. Can you go take care of him? I feel like it's the kid, like it's the actual son. Ass kid. Why don't you take care of him? Because I got meetings and shit to deal with. My employees in there on her own. <sighs> I really gotta handle some kid. Just gonna abandon a college girl in trouble? Huh? Oh, I see. You almost got me with that one, dipshit. <laughs> you think I'd lie to you? Seriously, she's young, she's single. <laughs> cute, too. Oh my you god. Sure about that? He's like, oh, cute. <laughs> yep. Oh, did I mention she's way into beards? She says she likes him bearded and burly. Yes, I have no choice. <laughs> if a lady, uh, uh, if my bro needs my help, I guess I gotta go save the day. You're a lifesaver, Anaki. I'm counting on you here. Okay, time to help out Higashi and the girl who's single and into bully bearded men. <laughs> oh, I should probably buy things. I didn't even think to like get Kaito some items. So let me see if I can get some like a health drinks cuz I'm probably going to need it. Yes, I must say. Stamina X. Uh. Not messing around. Oh. I'll kill you, you little whip. Damn. Talk about a shit. Damn his hair so bright. You can relax now, miss. I'm taking over from here. <laughs> Are you Yakuza? <laughs> N 
No, actually, I was sent by the owner, Higashi. What's going on here? Oh, well, those men were being disgusting, uh, but then that boy stood up for me. I'd rather be a wimp than a total piece of shit, not to mention an ugly one. Oh. Say that again, you brat! He's actually helping! <laughs> Too slow, dumbass! Uh-oh. That's it. I'm carving you up! Alright, well, Kaito, it's your turn to step in! Step back, bud. <laughs> I said step back. You don't want to get hurt, do you? Oh! Uh. He fainted. <laughs> Hold up. Did you just pass out on me? Hey, miss. Mind getting this kid out of the way? Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, well, time to take th these people out. Ah, uh, you taking his place, ape man? Then I'll just have to carve you up first! That's rude! Pick up artists! Are you kidding me? <laughs> so, Higashi wants to play bouncer, eh? Then I guess it's time to dust off the old moves. Ooh, tank style. Long ago, when Kaito was a bodyguard for his patriarch, he'd come to his defense like a fully armored tank. Tank style combines a fierce weapon based offense and impenetrable defense. Grab and smash lets Kaito automatically pick up and strike with weapons with square, and he can weather the attacks from any direction using an iron guard. Tank style is also excellent for grabs. With the right skills, Kaito can grab enemies in all sorts of situations. Oh, okay. That actually makes it very helpful! Yeah, that guy's dead. <laughs> oh, hello! Are you scared now? Oh, Higashi's is gonna be really pissed for destroying his arcade. <laughs> well, that was easy. Didn't take much. Shoo! Take your dumb asses outside. <laughs> Damn it! Hey, up and at him. Come on, kid, get up! Huh? Listen, you're a good kid for helping people, but taking on two grown-ass men is another story. Wait! Hey, you alright? Hit your head or something? What? Do I know you? Or, uh... Holy crap! It's you! What? You're Masaharu Kaito from the Matsugane family! Huh? Uh, yeah. Well, a I've fan? been a fan <laughs> for a while now, but, uh... Man, I've been looking all over for you. I'm Jun Satomoto. Yeah, I knew it was the kid. Satomoto. Why does that name... Mm-hmm, uh... mm-hmm. It's her son. You're... Mikiko's kid? <laughs> Guess we meet at long last. I heard you used to roll with the Matsugane family, so I've been asking people who looked apart what they knew. Oh, that's probably why. You see my face when I found out you guys broke up. Yeah, the boy's asking the Yakuza. <laughs> right away, boy. I love the title. <laughs> okay. Well, wanna tell me why Mikiko's kid is going around looking for me? Here's the deal, Kaito-san. I want you to find my mom. The, the save what? Yeah, I thought you might have a clue where she is. You two used to live together and all. <sighs> uh, kid, let me be frank. I'm gonna tell you the same thing I told your pops. You're asking the wrong guy. Wait, my dad came to you about this? Well, this is going? awkward. Oh. Wait up! Dude, what the heck? <laughs> you were mom's ex. Don't you care about her at all? She's nothing but a stranger to me now. 
I think Kaito's still hurting. But listen, we That's why he can't face it. Two years. That's if she's still alive. Don't you think she's in some kind of trouble? How should I? Maybe she's having the time of her life without some brat all up in her That's business. That's so rude. What the hell? <laughs> Get up a sec. My mom would never desert me. Then where'd she go, huh? Get lost already. I bet you just don't want to see her because she ditched your sorry ass. Damn, uh oh. I read all about it in her diary. How mom wanted you out of the Yakuza so she can marry you with a clean conscience. But then you went on some kind of dangerous mission. Better die a henchman than live as a husband, huh? And now you turn your back on her again? <laughs> no wonder you two are strangers! What? You wanna go? <sighs> Might wanna ease up on the grown-up act, kid. <laughs> anyway, your mom and I are ancient history. So unfortunately, I can't do anything for you. <sighs> what if I told you I'm your son? Then what? Okay, low-key, I really thought he was gonna say that, like, this was actually his son and not the other guy. Cause I can kinda see that if the- if the dates do match up, I don't know how- how long ago, uh, Kaito was in a relationship with her, but this kid is supposed to be 14, so 14 years ago, right? What if Kaito actually does have a son? This is getting interesting! You're still gonna walk away? What did you just say? I said, you and mom might have had me. Wait, wait. This is total crazy talk. It was written in mom's diary, around the time you broke up. Oh, shit! Her diary? Yeah. I read what happened after you went on some raid and you guys split. Apparently, she didn't get to tell you that I was a little fetus at the time. You gotta be shitting me. I am not shitting you. I actually think you're my dad. But then why? After all this time? Probably because you were Yakuza? I don't know. Listen, why else would I be busting my ass to find you? Now come on! You and I are gonna go find Mom, and then she'll tell you herself. Oh my god! Kaito might have a son! That's gonna be the end of this chapter! <laughs> I am actually really excited to see where the next bit of Kaito's story goes. Cause like, yeah, I, I definitely can see it, like, if this was actually his son, cause they kinda got the same attitude. Kaito's kind of a hothead when he is pissed off. Yeah, like I said earlier, I think the mom just got in some trouble that she wasn't meant to be in. That's what I'm hoping it is, because I don't think she would just go around and start, like, killing people willy-nilly. And also, like, he just said, I don't think my mom would just desert me, which doesn't make any sense either if uh, he really, you know, if the mom was really caring about their son. Uh, so I'm I'm just so excited to see where this goes. Uh, can I just say, I, I, I truly do miss the English voice acting, and I'm really glad that I turned it back on. Everybody's voice acting is like top notch. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode of the Kaito Files, remember to leave a like. Please let me know in the comments what you think and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button for the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!